Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is about multi-select drop-down with checkbox using jQuery in PHP. So what I'm going to do is let me show you a demo. Is a multi-select tutorial. If you will open that drop-down, there will be option with checkbox. If you want to like click on any checkbox and that will be selected and you can see there will be a select all option and there is a search option with the reset button so that's what i'm going to show you in this video so let's get started so firstly what i'm going to do is i'm going to download this jquery multi-select plugin from jquery site so on the website click on the download now button your zip file will be downloaded and in downloads you can see it's downloaded now open the zip file and in zip file what i need is css and js i want so that i'll find in folder dist that is just inside that just extract the CSS and JS folder. I need only these two folders. After extracting, uh, I need to include these into my project folder. So I'm just copying from here and pasting it into my project folder that is multi select. Let's start writing the code. In index.php, I'm going to write HTML and give it a title that is multi-select tutorial and after that i'm going to include links for bootstrap that is for and jquery that is 3.3.1 after that next what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a div and give a class that is container inside that i'm going to create a class again that is row and i'm going to give a call md12 and in which i'm going to define a h4 and i'm going to write multi-select tutorial next what i'm going to write is select and in select i'm going to write class form control with name select and i'm going to write option first one with value blank and let's say select after that write second option with like option one and give the same value and just copy i'm going to take like five options so i'm just copy and paste to five and change option like option two option three option four and option five so let me show you in browser let me call my project folder name and there you can see my select next step in the tutorial is to include the multi-select CSS and JS into index file so firstly I'm going to include CSS so write link with href give bootstrap multi-select.css and in the bottom of the body give script with src uh, I forgot the like folder to include like CSS slash so after that write src for js that is js slash bootstrap slash multi -select .js. and now i'm going to write script which will let me first give an id to select i'm giving an id that is select option and now with hash select option dot multi -select. This will activate the multi-select on my like 
drop down. Let's check out in browser. And there you can see drop down is not opening and there is no error in console. So let me just check. So firstly write the script for jQuery in bottom and I have not included bootstrap J js so I need to include that and one more I need that is popper.js and if I will refresh in the browser There you can see now select drop down is working and there you can see there are checkbox before every option so that's what we needed i need to change one thing in my select that is multi select attribute with multiple value and if i again check in my browser there you can see it's now none selected and I can choose more than one option now now if I'll discuss one thing is that there is no select all option like if you are building any project there will be like client wants like I want one option that is select all and I'll able to select all the options so for that there is one attribute you can say that you need to include in your js so i'm going to show you right now that is include select all option and that needs to be like set to true so let's check in browser if i'll refresh the browser open the drop down and there you can see a select all option if i click it all option are selected and if i double click like then like deselect and select all is there now second option that i want to discuss is now you can see the text that is displayed is non selected when you are building a project it's not necessary that it should be displayed maybe you have some different type like select some material or like maybe some different select text so for that there is one attribute that you need to set that is none selected text means if no option is selected then what text should be displayed over there so write whatever like I'm writing select option and if you will check in browser there you can see text is changed now next what i'm going to discuss is search like for that there is one attribute that is enable filtering and needs to set to be true if i refresh there you can see search is there and if i write one option one will appear and there will be side you know reset option if you will click on that that search input will be will be like blank last parameter i'm going to discuss is but button width you can define any i'm going to define 500 pixel and there you can see button width is increased but if you will see drop down is still having that width so we need to increase that and i'm going to inspect and just check what i need to increase i'm just giving some width over there and if i'll give 500 pixel there you can see it's multi-select container if i'll give width 500 it will be same as my input field so I'm going to give this same style in my head. So write style tag and write multi-select container.
width 500 pixel and I'm going for select all also in black color so for that I'm going to write multi select item and after that it's anchor tag and give color black so if you will check in browser there you can see width 500 it's taking and select all is also having black color so for other options to be black let me see what i can do in css so as there is no class in that so i'm going for multi select container with li and after that anchor tag and that should be color black if i refresh and check there you can see now all options are in black color so today's topic is covered and i hope this video is helpful for you if you want any like if you have any errors or you are not able to solve regarding this topic please share in the comments and um, thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel